Welcome to parts and please enter the protective cylinder to continue. What'd they do to you? Routine maintenance. I'm functioning much more better now. Hmm. Grammar function error. Perhaps I am still not at peak performance. Could you, uh, reattach my head? I don't know. It looks complicated. Just reconnect the wires. And be careful. I am not quite myself at the moment. In case of an emergency, the protective cylinder will protect important service personnel outside of the protective cylinder. Deactivating animatronic safety protocols now. It is recommended that no mistakes are made during the procedure. To reconnect Freddy's head, repeat the correct sequence by pressing the flashing connectors. Good job. Now use the testing console to run diagnostics and complete the procedure. Freddy is all patched up and ready for the big show. You may now exit the protective cylinder. There's so much tech stuff in here. Is there anything I can use to stop the other bots? Bright lights in the eyes cause us to briefly malfunction. I suppose a phaser blaster or a phas cam could work. Where do I get one? Well, you can win a Phaser Blaster in Phaser Blast. Phaz cams are often confiscated in Monte Golf, but you will need a party pass to open one of those attractions. Chica normally gives them out for birthdays. Check her green room in Rockstar Row. You may find one there. Use the service elevators at the back of the room. They go up to Rockstar Row. It looks like they are all out of order except for Roxy's. You may now enter the protective cylinder. Let's begin by opening the arm casing. Disconnect the colored cables to remove the old forearm. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. Place the new armature into the forearm casing. Great. Now place with the new armature inserted. Reconnect with the new armature inserted. Reconnect the colored wires. Great job. Now close the casing. Good job. Now use the testing console to run diagnostics and complete the procedure. done. There is no need to perform the procedure on the other arm. The auto assist did it for you. My arms are different. Where did you get these parts? I'd rather not say. How fortunate. I should now be able to smash through the cyclone fences around the building, the way Monty does. Exactly. 
exactly like he did. Welcome to Parts and Service. Preparing for upgrade procedure. You may now enter the protective cylinder. To access the voice box, we must open Freddy's chest cavity. To unlock the chest cavity, remove Freddy's bow tie. Good job. Now remove the chest plate. Well done. Disconnect the throat wires to continue. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. Well done. Return the chest plate and firmly lock it down with the bow tie. Looking spiffy. Commence testing phase. Phase complete. Activating safety protocols. This upgrade, it was Chica's. Please be honest. How did you get it? When I was in the kitchen earlier, she fell into some sort of garbage smasher. Is she okay? Well, she's still functional. That is a relief. With this new voice box, I should be able to make a vocal pitch that will stun animatronics. Welcome to Parton's preparing for upgrade procedure. You may now enter the protective cylinder. Let's begin by removing Freddy's face. Press Freddy's nose to remove skull housing. Carefully detach the ocular connectors. Great. Plug the replacement eyes into the open eye sockets. Well done. Reattach the ocular connector wires. It is time to close the faceplate. Commence testing phase. your new eyes I am having a hard time adjusting you look different to me I can see movement through the walls really? 
Really? I didn't know Roxy could see through walls. These are Roxy's eyes? Well, yeah. There was an accident in the raceway. Is she okay? Well, nothing seems to stop her. 